viewer welcome to this video this is lecture number 96 already 95 lectures are covered to solve the supplementary problem of this book frequency by inverse binary you know this book is very important for physics as well as for mathematics also that's why we decide to solve the supplementary problem of this book in this video you want to solve the supplementary problem 8.114 to 8.118 of chapter 8 which consists tensor analysis and this is part 8 of of this chapter okay so and the previous 95 lectures link are given in the description box you can refer to this so let's start with question number 8.114 which says that prove that a b uh, product of a b inverse equals to b inverse into a inverse okay this will be altered so for that we can take that is a b as a another matrix that is c now if we multiply a inverse from the left hand side a inverse from the left hand side in the both sides so multiply multiply a inverse from left hand side so you will be get a inverse a is will be i identity matrix a inverse so this will be b equals to a inverse c now if you multiply with b inverse from the left hand side so b inverse b will be b inverse a inverse c b inverse b will be i so this will be b inverse a inverse c so this will be multiply b inverse from the from left hand side similarly if we now multiply c inverse from the right hand side c inverse from the right hand side so this gives you c c inverse so multiply multiply c inverse from right hand side so what will we get this will gives you c inverse and this is b inverse a inverse c c inverse will be i so c inverse will be b inverse a inverse okay what will be this c c is the a b so you can write a b whole inverse equals to b inverse a inverse this is the proof of this question and this is the answer of this question clear next question 8.115 which says express in matrix notation the transformation equation for a contravariant vector vector means tensor of rank 1 then covariant tensor of rank 2 and mixed tensor of rank 2 so first that is the uh, contra variant vector vector means tensor of rank 1 which can be represented in p bar equals to del x p bar del x q a q i think you remember that so this can be written in the matrix form if you wants to write in the matrix form so you can write this as a a1 bar a2 bar a3 bar 3 coordinate because this is a vector vector means rank 1 so this will be 3 coordinate so the transformation matrix will be like that like that x1 del x2 del x1 del x3 mm, this will be del x2 del x 1 del x2 del x2 del x2 bar del x3 and this will be del x3 bar del x1 del x3 bar del x2 del x3 bar del x3 okay that into a1 a2 a3 okay next that is the covariant co variant covariant tensor of rank 2 rank 2 so this can be written as a j k bar equals to x p del x j bar del x q del x k bar into a p q okay so if you wants to write down in the matrix form you can easily write down in this because this is rank 2 there will be element of 
9 element so this can be written as a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 sorry a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 right so this will be there will be transformation uh, matrix okay and this will be uh, two transformation right there will be two transformation that will be del x1 del x1 bar um, del x1 del x2 bar del x1 del x3 bar so on with the multiplication of del x1 del x1 bar del x2 del x1 bar del x3 del x1 bar etc i think clear with the matrix that a1 a12 a13 and so on okay and next one which is which is mixed mixed tensor of rank 2 mixed tensors that c mixed tensor of rank 2 right mixed tensor of rank 2 so you can write this as a a j k that is del x j del x p del x q del x k yeah. oh, if you want to write down this so you will be get that is this one a one three similarly a three three etc in the matrix form there will be two matrix and there is a one one a one two and a one three and this is a three three clear so this will be matrix like that x1 bar del x1 x1 bar del x2 del x1 bar del x3 and so on okay go to the next question which says that <coughs> given this is a, a matrix determine the value of lambda such that a x equals to lambda x of non-zero x matrix dependent this is the characteristic equation so a x will be lambda x so this can be written as a x minus lambda x equals to zero so if you take x is a common so this two written as lambda i x because lambda is a constant scalar quantity so you need to transform into matrix so you need to multiply the identity element so this will be zero that's mean lambda i determinant will be 0 that is 2 minus lambda minus 2 minus 3 1 minus lambda equals to 0 so this gives you 2 minus lambda into 1 minus lambda minus 6 equals to 0 so this is 2 minus 2 lambda minus lambda plus lambda square minus 6 equals to 0 so this is lambda square minus 3 lambda minus 4 equals to 0 so this gives you lambda square minus 4 lambda plus lambda minus 4 equals to 0 lambda lambda minus 4 and this is lambda minus 4 equals to 0 so this gives you lambda minus 4 lambda plus 4 equals to 1 so lambda is 4 and lambda is minus 1 this is the value of lambda this is known as eigenvalue of this matrix next question 1.8.117 which says that uh, equation f of lambda will zero in the previous uh, equation that is we already uh, proved in the previous equation uh, that is f of lambda that is this f of lambda equals to zero that is lambda square minus 3 lambda minus 4 so f of lambda that is lambda square minus 3 lambda minus 4 equals to zero previous one divided by the equation now so that f of a will be 0 where f of is the matrix obtained in the uh, obtained by replacing lambda by a now
Now, if you replace this f of a, that will be a square minus 3a minus 4. So, this turn into matrix form or into my term. So, we need to prove this will be 0. So, for that we need to find out a square, a square is a into a, a is 2 minus 2 minus 3 1 into 2 minus 2 minus 3 1. So, if you multiply that is 4 plus 6 minus 4 minus 2 minus 6 minus 3 6 plus 1. So, this will be 10 minus 9 minus 6 7. Okay. So, a q oh, sorry 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 a square minus 3a minus 4i a square is 10 minus 6 minus 9 7 3a a is 2 minus 2 minus 3 1 and minus 4i 1 0 0 1. So, this gives you 10 minus 6 minus 4 minus 6 plus 6 plus 0 and this is minus 9 plus 9 plus 0 7 minus 3 minus 4 that is 0 0 0 0 ok. So, this will be 0 matrix. Next prove that a b transport equal to b transport into a transport. So, a matrix can be written as in terms of element a i j b matrix can be written as in terms of element b i j. So, a transport will be written as a j i just reverse similarly b transport will be b j i this will be also reverse. Now, if you wants to write a b i j term with transform form. So, this will be k will be 1 to n there is n element that is i k b k j whole transport. So, this is k sorry this is k equals to 1 to n a j k b k i just transform. So, if we just interchange this to that is b k i into j k. So, you can write this will be b transport a transport i j. So, you can write a b transport equals to b transport a transport ok. I think clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box or you can contact with me. This is all about me and this is my contact details you can contact with me and join with this telegram channel to get the notification of the upcoming video and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will be get the others video like mechanics and many other things and share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video. Subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and thus already subscribe. Thanks for subscription and press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video. So, take care. We will meet in the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.